So welcome to Pax Europeana, this time about economic development. Here I'm at Belgrade at the waterfront. It's a bit loud, but you will see it's a very busy area next to the bus station here. I walk downhill and I'm at now at the Saba River actually, not at the Danube. But this is the Belgrade at the waterfront project. It's huge new uh, big residential development at the um, uh, riverfront and it's quite impressive. It's, the, to my knowledge, the biggest um, investment, private investment of um, Belgrade and it's a huge uh, flagship uh, reference project for development in Southeastern Europe and in Serbia. I will now, I'm the first time here, I will also take a look and show you how it is. And this is basically Belgrade waterfront, Eagle Hills. It's an investor from Abu Dhabi or United Arab Emirates, somehow like that. That is uh, one of the big stories. I told you about it when I was also in Dures because it's the same group which also plans <laughs> the 2 billion project in Dures. But I'm not sure about the exact status. Here actually the bus station, again a bus station that is important because that's how I travel from time to time here on the Balkans during this crisis and it's an efficient way but it should be fully integrated in the European system and actually this one in Belgrade is already very integrated. Yeah? I made the point about bus traveling already. But let's come back to the volume of this very big project. It's quite impressive and amazing actually how big and how much effort and the level of investment it is really impressive. Yeah? You see how many towers is it? It is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and that's just you know the the one part here, the beginning. I'm not sure how big that ultimately will be, but it's uh, the biggest reconstruction project in residential area to my best knowledge in southeastern Europe. Yeah? So definitely worth a look because I don't know if there's any other project of that size. I have shown you Porto Novi. That was of course very big. The residential project of Azerbaijan at the seaside and Porto Montenegro. You have seen but that's for a capital. Novi Stanovi, big quality, 500 euro. That's not the square meter price. Uh, don't get excited, it's much more expensive. But it's uh, basically what they are offering is a monthly credit uh, system by the developer because the banks are obviously in Southeastern Europe not always ready to fund such things. So then you can basically get an a investment credit. Messner Generator Kredita means 500 euros of liquidity and you get a small apartment here. Look, it's one, two, three, four, five, six. I will see all of it, but it's very big. That's of course we're coming along with all the European style infrastructure. And here is the workers camp, BW. Belgrade at the waterfront is the title. And it's going, extending over there. And it will come like a real new um, city in a sense. I think city is the best way to put it. Together connected with the infrastructure here and the bus terminal and you can see the development. I always say we should be open to investments also from the Arab world obviously. Some people don't like that but I think it's the way to do it. Yeah, This is the way to develop cities. Uh, there was a lot of protest against it, but I actually support such big urban revitalization projects. The way it was done, obviously, in terms of, of expropriation, that's another issue. And of decision making, that's of course in semi-authoritarian states a bit easier than in other systems. But when you look around, it's quite big and it's substantial. It creates a lot of employment, a lot of investment and of course it creates a whole different atmosphere for a city and 
it is also revitalizing one rather poor area, which it certainly was. I think I will now, there's another tower here. I will enter now here and show you some of this and this already finished uh, blocks. Yeah, Here these parts are already finished. I see it probably already sold. People are living there, I see. And so you have five blocks here and here you have this finished part which is already inhabited. Obviously it's for the upper middle class, but the situation is it's very central. Here you can see that you are basically living in the center of the town at the river. Of course, that's very, very good. Oh, how many floors? 10, is it 25? I guess so. So that's of course the potential of prosperity of a currency packed to the euro of a EU candidate country. You know, I'm not happy with many decisions on the bigger strategic level here in Serbia, but the currency policy and also they have not a perfect 10% flat tax, unfortunately, but and they have also not reformed the cadaster as it should be, but it's much better already. I had made a presentation here already and you see how big all this is. <laughs> I have to be careful while crossing the street. Thank you. And yes, thank you very much. And here you see there's also two towers ready. Very big. Here, here. Manhattan style development at the waterfront. That part of the city of the village of Belgrade at the waterfront is already ready. I'm not 100% happy with the economic policies, you know. They have never done the 10% flat tax, but they have maximum 20%. They have additionally 10% for rich people. So it's okay-ish, but Serbia has never gone the full development. <laughs> they have packed the currency, but not fully officially, but more or less. Uh, they call it a growling pack, but it's at 117 to the dinars in the decade. That was very good, because uh, in all the crises before, the dinar was the second worst performing currency in European post-Cold War history when you look at the development since 1990 it was of course a complete disaster but now here this is one of the big towers here the whole area is really very impressive that's three five six ten twenty floors yeah, i think it's twenty floors yeah and here we are at the sava at the river front sava then at the top at the kalimaktan going into the danube and i will show you everything now from the riverside that's of course the big marketing plus and it is very beautiful actually yeah belgrade is a beautiful town and you see this beautiful amazing one big tower here with amazing view over the river this one a bit smaller and there's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and another ten coming so 20 big complexes rising on the riverside that's really impressive i will show you now everything here it's a bit windy at the river so i hope you can hear me this is the Sava River. This is Old Town Belgrade here, very close. It's about 50 minutes, 20 minutes to walk down here. That's New Belgrade over there with the famous Sava Center and a lot of the commercial and residential development, the city development project. Here the riverside, here one big tower and I show you now the whole panorama here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and the new ones which are not finished another eight blocks so 16 blocks all in all it seems to me here the buddha bar here the famous river the kalimekdan the old ottoman or it was often habsburg forest as, uh, fortress as well there was a lot of shift in ownership of Belgrade in the 17th and oh, actually from the peace of karlovitz onwards several times the city has shifted its ownership 
and its domination. But it's very important strategic point here. And this is actually a quite a big investment success and congratulations. It's impressive. I like it very much and it looks very good. And I hope that there are many cities in Southeastern Europe will redevelop like that. And yes, this is the magic of foreign direct investment. Congratulations. More to come from Pax Rubiana. Bye.